Ever wondered how to make AI work smarter for you? Welcome to the world of prompt engineering. In this video, we will explore how carefully crafted prompts can enhance the performance of your AI applications, making them more efficient and effective. Join us as we uncover the practical techniques and real-world applications of this essential skill. Now let's see what are the applications, different applications of prompt engineering. One is content generation. You want copywriting, advertising, creative writing, educational content, you can do anything and everything under content generation based on your target audience, based on who you are catering to. Next is customer support and engagement. There are various chatbots and virtual assistants that can use generative models and instructional guides as well so that your customer is engaged. You do not need human as resources to reply to your customers. There are generative models that can help you with act as a human and reply to your customers at all times 24 seven. Then there is data analysis and science. Data cleaning, data preparation, visualization, as we talked about, whatever you want to do, you can give an input as your data there would be a size limit you give and you tell to clean you generate the code you can ask what to do when you are doing statistical analysis on this kind of data what tests uh, hypothesis testing to do so all these come under data analysis and data science then application comes under Code generation and software development, that is automating your code writing, debugging, document generation, documentation. So all these using chat GPT or generative models, you can, they can make your life easy. They can generate a code for you, whatever you are looking at. But you have to be very specific. You have to be very clear what you want so that your output, your response from chat GPT, your generative models are customized based on your prompts. Next is research and information retrieval. Like for example, text summarization, question answering, anything and everything. You can give links as a context and tell that, okay, these are the specific researches done in this field. Based on this, give me your hypothesis, what next can be done. For example, next is machine translation, information sharing, internal communication, anything related to machine translation. Then sentiment analysis, consumer feedback analysis, brand management, marketing, all these things using sentiment analysis can be done. And prompt engineering is used to create tools for this. Other domains include healthcare, where you can do diagnosis, you can create a system using generative model to diagnosis for a disease. And you can prompt, design prompts that, okay, my patient is this, it has a history of this. Now, these are the symptoms. What is your diagnosis? Manufacturing. In manufacturing, if you want to supply your manufacturing and your suppliers, you create an LLM, you create a generative model where your users, your employees can ask if I'm manufacturing this, if I have to transport here, what to do, what not to do, everything, the mesh, the network that you have in manufacturing industry, it can intake and give you output results based on your prompts. Then comes security. Security, there are attacks. They can be a lot of AI tools that can be used to prevent those attacks, to prevent your systems, you know, without failing. Last is retail and shopping. That is e-commerce. In your OTT platforms or shopping, e-commerce, Mintra, different websites, Amazon, they can use 
generative models to intake all these things and you prompt that okay i want this and it helps you with retail and shopping so these are the various applications for prompt engineering <music>